Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live for Transformers, uh, the gaming series online starting now. Alrighty, now, so, after a, what happened to Jazz, so the Decepticons were able to gain the advantage in the battle, but thanks to Ironhide avenging Jazz, with brawl down, we've only need to deal with only a handful of Decepticons, and Barricade will be one of them. And sub to Bumblebee to make sure that he defeats Barricade once and for all. That we defeat Barricade once and for all. And I need to take this moment to make a speech about something. Seeing the Autobots in action, what they stand for, what they fight for, and why they're in this war, wherever the reason. These factions, Decepticons, the Allspark. I realized during the time of, of doing this series, we, the humanity, are not so far different uh, from Transformers that we like to think that some people would like to think otherwise. And those that don't want to do very, very stupid things like making dissections of Transformers, um, Decepticons, or even Autobots, which is why Megatron was even in the Hover Dam in the first place, and the Allspark too. They were dissecting information from Megatron during the time he was in prison. So yeah, um, on some twist levels, I get that, that some of the Autobots weren't sure if they should trust us humans. And I get on most levels why uh, Decepticons don't even like us humans because we're total dicks, which is true. And this is not exactly saying this from personal experience. This is something of a personal history fact. Yes, uh, there is some human partial of humanity that, some dis that has some despicable people uh, that we had to put up with. Uh, and some assholes that are running the show. But not all of humanity are like them. And because of that... I truly believe that we will be able to coexist with the Autobots and hopefully with the Transformers as Optimus Prime really seems to believe in us. And and if I had to and I used to think that that heroes can come in shapes and sizes of humans, but and or any others places of gaming series, but if I had to choose which other heroes that I we bring for, other than humanity, of course, I would choose the Autobots, because they are the representations, what heroes are, what we people wanted to, or go to, and aspired to be, which is why the Decepticons will fall, they must, and we need to make sure that the Allspar doesn't fall into their hands. For what the Decepticons represent is it goes against everything what we, humanity, stand for. And Megatron hates us and despises us. But the Autobots and Optimus Prime are fighting for their lives to make sure that we, that we survive. And it's time, high time humanity stands with uh, the Autobots uh, in this fight. And so with that in mind, we're going to keg uh, the Decepticons metal asses if this is the last thing I do. Now, we got one final challenge uh, to do in this episode. And then after that challenge, there will be no challenges left. So, let's go do this. And I'm not exactly sure if 
I got any bonus icons since the last episode, so maybe I did. Well, maybe I kind of did. Yeah. All right. Racing. All right. We can do this. One last race. Uh, -huh. as Ironhide, which makes a lot more sense. Whew. Downtown Manhattan, New Yorker Defender. <laughs> And kick the barricades ass again. He's not going to get the chance to rally wherever remains of the ranks of the Decepticons. So, because that Sam and Michaela are with Bumblebee right now, they're going to have to get away from the area because Barricade will be coming after them because they will be holding the All Spark. Which is fine, because he'll be too busy dealing with us. Let's do this, buddy. And kick this guy to the curb again, just like last time. Only even better, because we're better people than uh, the first time we deal with this guy. Now, we keep the all spark away from Barricade at all costs. Barricade is making one last desperate attempt on retrieving the Allspark. Keep it out of his evil Decepticon hands at all cost. Protect uh, Sam and Michaela, which we will do. We will. Bye bye. Boo, yeah. Cheap shot. Real cheap shot. And not cool at all in the slightest. Let's ride. Oh, you don't like a picnic? Then let's make this a rumble.
You want to do a lot better than that. I told you before. You're going to get a uh, stinger from the beam. You're like a picnic chair. That the pendant's going to take you to school, son. Have a pole. Eat this. Sick at this guy, but that was total boss move right there. That was close. Your last stop ends here. Here. If you get hurt, I'll send you to a hospital without an ambulance truck. You're unfit to be having uh, that transportation as a police car, punk. And I'll show you why full school session. Because your uh, swiggy arms is going to get itself tied up in a knot. <laughs> You have a right to remain silent. <laughs> and have a next fight downtown of Manhattan. Booyah. And stay down this time. Defender, huh? And guess what? The B King to the lame, dirty Decepticon Pretender Cop Zip. You did it, Bumblebee. 
Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh shit. Megatron. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Uh, crap! Sam, Michaela, run! Alright, Optimus Prime is all that stands between Megatron and the Allspark for the sake of all sentient beings, both Autobots, which is all Transformers, and humanity, Megatron must be stopped. All right, folks, we're going to put a stop here to have these messages, folks. So this has gone spy, the spy, sign off for now.